open this video is created by top developers and schoolautomation.net in this video I'm gonna discuss about that how we can implement our master page efficiently I, I want to take a example it's a very important example and uh, is really used in uh, real projects like uh, you have a control on your contained placeholder I think that uh, you are already aware with the master page then uh, you know very well that what is the master page and what is the contained placeholder to learn this video or learn to grab this video first of all you have to go through with the master page right so uh, I want to tell you that how I can implement our master page efficiently actually I have taken in this example I have taken a control in contained placeholder of a master page and uh, I have a place a uh, button control out of the contained placeholder and I want at the click of at the click of button control the button is able to access the level control is which is already placed in contain placeholder and it is not a easy task so let's see that we have as we know that we have lots of methods like masterpage dot find control but if you have placed already in contain placeholder then you are not able to get the control by using the masterpage dot find control there are some methods we have to implement to do this task let's see that what kind of operation we can perform first of all I want to tell the structure of master page ah, this is my master page I have a contained placeholder this is my contained placeholder and in this contained placeholder I have placed a control which uh, ID have the level 5 and uh, there's no text this text what this is the by default text uh, um, is already created at the time of label creation right so uh, out of the this contain placeholder I have taken a button control if I click on the button control then I will able to level 5 x uh, level 5 directly so this is the structure of my master page you can see this in design view also okay so I want that I have implement this master page on my default 2.axpx right in default 2.axpx you know that you have some attributes like uh, page title this is the directive and master type it is also a directive in this directive you have to pass the virtual path that is the temp.master it means the this page can identify that what the actual master page it have that is the temp.master and you have to pass this di directive to perform this task right so in this contain placeholder I have already taken two controls that is level 1 and level uh, button control right so you can directly access it there is no need to worry about that how to how I access this control because it is already placed in contain placeholder and uh, by using the code behind you can implement the work whatever you want it's a very easy task it's not a big task so as I told you that if I run this program page then you can see the final output okay so if you click on this button this button is out of the contained placeholder and this level this level is placed in contained placeholder at the master page creation so if you click on this button then you will find some text value over here let's see how I can perform this task easily so if you want to do this just create an interface in your class2.cs file as we know that if I want to create a class go to the add new item just select a class template this is my class template and uh, this is the default name you can change the name of class then add and place this in app code so class1 has been created so my class name is the class2.cs so I'm I'm gonna create an interface as you know that to what what the interface role to provide a multiple inheritance we use interface in Java in PHP and other languages so I have created interface I contain injectable this interface is already defined right so in this interface 
I have taken level control. This is a level class, and we know that each and every server control is a class only, right? I'm taking a get get method. Get you do know the what the use of get? By using this get method, you can pass some value in this level control. So this is the class, and this is the object of this level, right? So I want that I can implement this level over here. So go to the temp.master.cs this is on my master page and uh, I want to take that interface over here so that's why I you I create a uh, you know the object of uh, that interface which I have created already in class 2.cs so my interface name is the I contain injectable and uh, I create a you know a interface reference over here in temp master right so I have to overwrite the method of onload as we know that every ASP.NET have a page lifecycle and there are some events uh, which are some default events like page init event, page load event, page unload event, onload event. These are some uh, methods or you can say that they are the some events which are execute default, right? So I want to overwrite that method by using this protected override void onload event. So in this event I have some arguments and argument will pass in this object right so I want that that it should call the base class function right so you are overriding the function as we know this is this is a part of polymorphism it means that onload event is already mentioned in in your parent class and you want that uh, your this method should call the argument of your parent class to so implement this that we have a base keyword in C sharp right so I am calling the onload event of E and passing the arguments to, to there right so on this page that I have created a label that label uh, is mentioned in your I contain injectable in this method it will call the get method what whatever you have created in your class 2.cs file right so it will call the uh, get method and it will return some value in the IC page and if it is not equals to null then you can pass something some value or you can get that value from here so I want to override that me get method and I want to pass some value over here to implement this that IC page this is uh, my you know interface object and ex exposed literal do you know that what's the uh, exposed uh, literal that is the level control right so I have created a level a dot text and I'm passing some value you can pass any value whatever you want so the value has been passed in this interface now get the value of this interface on the page load event to implement this the public level expose literal this is my level and I'm get taking the get method and returning level 1 and level one what is the level one you have a create a control over here sorry this is not level one I have created in default 2.xpx so I want to get this value over here so I have placed this contain uh, level one in contain placeholder and I want that it should your master page control is should able to get this value so go to the default to dot .cs file in this file get return level 1 right the public level exposed literal get level 1 and you have the value of level 1 so it means that level 1 value you have mentioned in your temp.masters.cs file and you are getting the value of uh, your level 1 over here this video is created by top developers and schoolautomation.net to get the complete code of this video, you can visit our website and you can download from there. Thank you for watching this video. I am going to create uh, another video.